Today we're at a station that's changed its name and its form several times. Built with lifts and modified for escalators, we're at Archway. In this week's episode. Oh, look at that. Wow. I mean, <laughs> there's almost too much to throw out, isn't it? You've got your big torch. I do. Can I just do an Indiana Jones? This is just great. I'm expecting a big ball to come rolling. <laughs> well, Alex, I think you're going to want to come and have a look at this. I do. Do you know, I also want a photograph of me standing <laughs> in the centre of the... <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, let's do that. I'm really looking forward to today because we've been tipped off by a viewer that this is a good station to visit. And it's, Archway is one of those stations that's not only complicated because of its name, but also how it's changed over time as well. Definitely, it's been one that's been on our radar to come and do for a while. So it's good, good to have a reason to do it. Matt, just over here, work. that might be a bit useful. Yeah, yeah, good work. And it's quite handy because we can see where we are. Just there, Archway. Lovely, the Northern Line, joy, joy, joy. Now, even the name of this station is complicated, isn't it? Because it's Archway now. It didn't open as Archway, did it? No, it opened as Highgate. Uh, because it was originally one of two northern termini of the Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway. The northern other one line. being Golders Green, wasn't That's it? That's right, yes. Yeah. So that was the original extent of the northern line, and then it was extended. Now, in 1939, the extension had been begun to go through Highgate and on to what we know now as Highgate and on to East Finchley and beyond. So they had to change the name. Right. Because they were going to call this one Highgate. So they call this Archway Brackets Highgate. Of course. Yeah. It's perfectly sensible. In January of 1941, for some reason, they decided to swap it around. Could. Yeah, of course. So That's it really sensible. became Highgate Brackets Archway. Right. So you've got two high gates, just one brackets archway. For my complex yeah. mind, that's too complicated still. Please tell me they simplified it. Yeah, so in December of 1947, common sense prevailed and they just called it archway. <laughs> Fabulous. And of course, both of them named after local road features. Toll gate, yeah. high gate, and the archway bridge at archway. And to just explain this extension north, the bit between East Finchley and High Barnet was actually steam railway, wasn't it, mm. that they took over? Yeah, so L and ER uh, line basically, and the the key thing was this range of hills here called the Northern Heights, yeah. and being able to punch through that to get beyond all the mainline railways go around it to to the east and the west, uh, and the the Northern Line was basically punching through it uh, and making that that connection through the hills. Because there was supposed to be another extension from Highgate to Alexandra Palace, wasn't there? There was, the Northern Heights project, which sadly got canned due to wartime uh, austerity, post-war austerity, and the central line extensions being built instead. So, yeah, good, good subject from our Highgate tour there. Lovely. Now, in addition to the name complexities, the actual fabric of the station changed, didn't it? Because when it was opened in 1907, it had lifts. It did. Now, one of the reasons that this place has been on our radar for a while is there are a range of stations which if you've read the excellent hidden london book you will know have something in common is that they were born lift stations and they were converted to escalators as that new technology came along and that does something very interesting from our point of view lifts go up and down in a shaft and escalators go on an angle and therefore if you've got this new side of a triangle here, it means you've got two sides of a triangle in the lift and the passageways left behind. And that's the kind of thing that we love to explore. I've never been here before. You've never been here before to do the exploration. So it's an exciting one today. It's really cool because I used to use this station quite a lot, but I only saw what you get to see. And funnily enough, I've never used the spiral staircase. And all the things we've learned over the umpteen series that we've done of this, the thing I love is that you just got to use your eyeballs to see what you can see of the original station and it lurks, doesn't it? It the does. The details lurk. Now we've got a hidden London poster advertising our tours over there just behind us and the red tiling on it is reminding me to say how this station began. 1907 of course, being a CCE and HR station, it was designed by architect Leslie Green. So it had the classic tiled facade front uh, with, the, with the lift station. But then it got its reworking in the 30s 
and as part of that, the lifts were fitted, sorry, the escalators were fitted. Really unusually, they were the first fast escalators to be fitted. So they were twice the speed of the ones that had preceded. They were so considered so fast, they had to be introduced in stages. So they gradually, they had three different speed settings that they gradually wound them up to full capacity. While Archway the is speeding up on them. Tuesday. Yeah, that's, right. that's, that's quite cool. So yeah, it has quite a lot of interesting things that happened here. The tiling as we look at it today is, mm, looks 90s, doesn't it? It's, yeah. It's kind of a, In fact, a I vividly refer- remember it being done. That's mm-hmm. the thing, because I was using it at the time. And and it's not the worst, actually. I mean, the green tiling yeah. around here has got a little bit, of, quite a, nice. bit of relief to it. It's, it's quite nice. It's variation. One other thing you but, mentioned, by the way, um, you mentioned the CCEHR. That was the Charing Cross, Euston and Hampstead Railway right. that ran from, effectively, up here, down to what is now Embankment, round yep. a loop, and then back up along the Edgware uh, well, branch. Because originally it? it ran into Charing Cross. It was yes. extended down there. I mean, its name tells you where it went, yes. as the, all of those early yeah. tube lines tended to do. So Charing Cross, Houston, Hampstead, is basically yeah. name checking all of the uh, places that people might find useful to go to. It, it quickly got abbreviated to the Hampstead Tube for obvious reasons. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> it's like the names of this place. So let's go and have a look at the station. Let's. <laughs> Well, it seems fitting, Alex, that we, uh, we use the escalators as it's what's special. And what, and what speed are we running at these? Is this top <laughs> speed? Oh, I think this is top speed. And over there, we've got the original spiral stairs, yeah. I notice. And of course, the other thing about the episode today is, A, we've not been here. We've not looked around the station to see what's worth looking at. But the other thing is that we'll try and point out the sort of things that you can look for when you're going around a tube station because the clues are everywhere actually, aren't they, Nick? So you're on camera. They are. Just looking at the, you. The thing that we've, we've resisted the temptation of today is going and having a look around. It's so rare that we actually get to do a genuine uh, kind of first look these days because there have been so many places on the tube, most of the disused bits. So this is a rare treat for me to be able to go into a station and make sense of it from first principles. Been a while. It has. And um, you might wonder where the girls are. Um, They're actually picking up an award because Hidden London won a really cool award. um, It's a big glitzy show in Seville, isn't it? Yeah. Best hidden gem. I hope they bring back a few oranges for us. But of course, these tiles on the wall. We're not bitter. No, we're not bitter at all. Um, like the Seville orange. We didn't get the pit. Um, but the tiles on the wall, these are from the, from the refurbishment, quite recently really, aren't they? And they're very nice. I mean, they've got a bit of a sort of uh, colour differentiation in the tiles, but they are modern. They're not the originals. Modern Dutch, I believe, is the <laughs> antique expression, isn't it? Because when I was looking at the history of this Wait, place, the tiles are actually white and brown or cream and brown. Come on through, sir. Enjoy your journey. Um, Little view through the bridge vent there, yeah. sorry. So they weren't green, they were actually a sort of browny colour when yes. the, the station was opened. Well, I'm hoping we are going to be able to find some. Yeah. So it's time to do a bit of detective work down here. I've, I've got the keys. Have uh, I got the secret? Well, this is, this is nice. Bit of, uh, a little bit, a bit of raw iron work. Iron work. That uh, looks, looks very 31, that, doesn't it? I know. Which was and the year it was refurbed. And you just look at this and you just can't imagine the complication of the names, can you? No. It's bonkers, <laughs> absolutely bonkers. But you then should I try hunting through our collection for yeah. this stuff, because it's you think, oh great, I found something on Highgate. No, it's Archway. No. And then you see the plan, <laughs> it's scribbled out in pencil. Right. I love it. So we've got two platforms. We've got the northbound here. Yeah. And then over on this side, we've, we've got, got the southbound. The oh, look, we've got a train coming in a minute. Right. Oh, hello. Always hello. good. Let's have a what will we get? Get in. Um, so, I think it'd be good to go and have a look on the southbound, but yep. should we... Uh, oh, the southbound? Yeah, the northbound. but let's, uh, let's have a wander down. You see, I'm, I'm very interested in these things. See, switch room. Yes. I'm assuming that behind there, there might be all sorts of stuff. I love how we wave at the driver every time we do this. It's well, so nice. One of the things that we know is if you're hunting for original station behind a new facade then it's things like cross passages that get reused a lot and looks to me like there was a cross passage there so it's a good place to go hunting let's go let's let's see if there's a a way in 
It's um, they've done a nice job down here, haven't they? It's, they have. They have, this, Dixie, but it's not original. No, I know it's not original, but I, I think that that's that's got to be bonus points, hasn't it? A little arch in the archway. Yeah. Look at that. It's so cool. I love the fact that all of these little bits of detail have remained, even though the station has undergone so much change. So originally, of course, this, this had a signal cabin yep. on, on the platform, which I think has been replaced by modern uh, interlocking machine rooms. At the front end of the southbound the platform, end. yeah? Yeah. So that's where it would have been. Yeah. Same at York Road, wasn't it? Is it the front that's right, end yeah. of, the, of the effectively the southbound platform? Uh, I think it's, or was it? Front end of the northbound, I think. Is it? York Road. And here, presumably, is where that cross passageway would have been. Yeah. We have a door. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can hold my I'll tripod. Hold sticks. Right then, key moment. You've always got to do the key moment, haven't you? Oh, this is one of these massive deadlocks that takes about 27 turns. There we go. Right. Light switch. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. We are rewarded. <laughs> You've got the Alex sticks just trapped got... in the door. Let me, let me detach you from the Could door. Could you just right allow there. me to shut my door down? That would be fantastic. Let me just drop the sticks to the floor. For Thank you. Uh, well, this is tremendous. Uh, that, that brown colour you were talking about, Alex, there it is. Don't it's even lovely, need to use wipes. These are in such good condition. And it's, it's almost like, you know those brown Betty teapots is the only way I can describe yes. it? It's, okay, so we've got all the things that we love to rave about. You've got the colour variation, so you've got everything from Zoom almost black. I don't know if you're getting glare on I'm that. I'm doing this on my right. left hand, by the way. You'll be very impressed. <laughs> very I'm a right-handed boy. Are you? Yeah. And uh, very, very dark there, almost, you know, light brown there. The crazing, oh, it's all going on. And then below it, the cream tiling. Yeah. So, it's a snippet, isn't it? It's a yeah. tantalising snippet. And can I just draw your attention to what you obsess about in other uh, stations? Because you've got the dimpling. What yeah. is that, what's that called again? So it's the keystone. Uh, and this is what helps to hold the tiles on the wall. So uh, basically when the tile gets pushed into the cement, the cement should curl into the back of the holes in the tile. And you can see it hasn't done it very much here. And that's why it's just fallen off the wall. Uh, other ones, I'm guessing that this one went in quite a lot because it's snapped the cement off and gone with the tile. And what you were saying as well earlier, I mean, if we just look above your head, yep. I'm trying to do this with my left hand. Forgive me, guys. Forgive no. me. I'm doing this with the wrong hand. Cornice work. But you can see the cornice work where this would have been, as you say, a cross passage yep. from yesteryear. So that's tip number one of how to explore a station and know where to find the old bits. Um, I reckon there's more. Should We've we... got to go, yes, let's do uh, this. <laughs> I've seen the station plan. I've not been here, but I've seen the station plan. So I'm rubbing my hands in a fresh can of glee because I think out there there's more prizes. Let's go. To be found. Let's go. Now, now, those. Yeah, so we're back on the northbound platform. These things, wherever we spot them, we tend to get excited, don't we? Yeah, we do, because there's so much more above them that we normally can't see. However, you've got your big torch. I do. So, if we uh, just wait for the train to go. Now, up here is a vent shaft. That goes a long way up, it does. doesn't it? Uh, I can see all sorts of interesting things up there, like a walkway. I was going to say, that <laughs> grid work, that's a walkway up there, yeah. isn't it? So we might end up finding that, might we? So the reason that we get excited about finding these ventilation grills is because they're a sign that there's something behind and wherever you've got disused bits of the station, they often get reused for ventilation or for equipment, uh, or for storage. Where they get used for ventilation, they're often the most interesting. So this is, so just to remember, this is a station that started off with lifts and therefore passageways to and from the lifts. Yep. There's obviously a, possibly a disused lift shaft or something like that. But in addition to that, at the end of the platform, I've seen something else that I want you to explain to me. So the, the lifts were arranged at this end of the station with the passageways and the spiral stairs. You can see it says emergency stairs. They generally get left behind. And I know from the station plan they are. So I think that's the way we should go and have There's a look. something I want you to have a look at first. Yeah, that little cupboard on the right looks interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's just have a look 
track capacitor removed. And look at that. Because this is what I'm really interested in. Yeah, so tells you what it is, siding tunnel telephone. And this goes back to the, the origins of this line, doesn't it really? Because when this was the terminus of this mm -hmm. line, there would have been sidings. Yeah, to they put basically the trains had in. overrun sidings, didn't yeah. they? On, so it was like a deeper, a tunnels. longer tunnel that was dug, but they just used to store trains in it, basically. That's right, yeah, cool. on both the northbound and the southbound. Now, the one, the overrun for the northbound was used to carry on through to high, what we now know as Highgate and right. beyond. Uh, the southbound siding was retained and a new southbound tunnel was brought in. So there is still one siding in there yeah. with the crossover between them. Uh, so that's what that is about. It's fascinating because they don't really use it anymore. And weirdly, when we were upstairs in the office, do you remember? Yes. There was that, was that the equivalent sign, of that, the, the other box of that, and it's got decommissioned in 2014 or whatever. That's that. right, yeah, yeah. So, of course, you've got train radios now, and also the signalling system's been upgraded as well since, since this was installed. But it's nice to see these original artefacts surviving, isn't it? It is. And speaking of original uh, artefacts... Uh, <laughs> all these little cupboards I'm itching are to great. get to that so, corridor I, there. I know, but we're going to be disciplined and have a little peeky... In. Oh, wait, look at that. So that, that's, right, so you've got fuse, uh, fuse carriers there. Do you remember when we were at Edgware Road yeah. and um, North, North End more, more recently, Bull and Bush? Yeah. Uh, so I bet if we could get in there that uh, some of those fuses that survive will have London Passenger Transport Board. But interestingly, that worries me. That's yeah, why I wouldn't that, go that's in there. why I'm not using the keys. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a signals room, effectively, yep. or a, a, a track traction room so uh, uh, that's not one we should be going in fine now under normal circumstances this was obviously the tunnel the entire tunnel yes. this has been added later yes um to the emergency staircase and already look at this uh, bang tremendous haven't even got to get off the platform your chocolate really, teapot's back to see me brown betty <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's magic, isn't it? I mean, it's so shiny, and I can't really see very much crazing at all. I mean, you could practically see your face in that. You could. I mean, no. you can. In fact, I can see your face in that. Oh, aye. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. Right, we've got stuff to look at, haven't we? We have. Um, Should we? Uh... Yeah. So oh. imagine all that. That's all, all new. But then all this, this is old and fabulous. And bearing in mind that Archway was one of those stations that we thought, yeah, we'll look at that. It's only the tip-off from our viewer that just said have it a look put it up our list didn't it and yeah um, and I, this see, is i'm why. also interested in this area because it archway was used for sheltering yeah so i'm looking for any signs of bunk additions hey look at these you don't see this very often the um the steps they've kind of got this is it terrazzo is it more stone inlay it's interesting that, isn't that it? looks quite likely to be original slabs well. <laughs> yeah, York, well, you always get that in the spec of the Leslie Green stations. The York flags is often what's Okay. What <laughs> now then, Nixie. Well, here we are. I sense this is the piece de resistance, isn't it? Uh, yes. Let's just, let's just be truly disciplined. I'm going to keep oh, teasing you. Oh, you're such a rat bag. <laughs> I just want to get so, in there. Original spiral staircase. Yeah. Looks like it anyway. Yeah, very good. And, and then... Oh, hey, look at that. Some leftovers from Baker Street and Waterloo Railway. Oh, wow. <laughs> can you see that, by the way, dear viewer? Baker Let's Street and can... Waterloo Railway. They're the letterings. So, yeah. that, crikey, so 16 foot tunnel rings. Amazing. Uh, and this is the spiral stairs. This would have been the vent, would it? That's this, right. This yeah. pipe. It's no longer being used. Uh, I could see it was, so we went past at the top, I could see it was capped off. What's, here's another one, look, Nixie. U E R C L. Oh, oh, no, I know that's unusual. Unified so, Electric Railways. Underground, Underground Electric, Electric Railways Railway. Of London, normally you see U E R L, but company? U R C L, I guess so. Underground Electric Railway I've, Company, London? I've Central not, London. I've, no, I've I, I go company. I, I've not seen that before on a lining ring. And do you know that's, this HWNC company? Yeah, that's the manufacturer. Right. So that, you that's know them. one of the yeah, like Stanton and uh, okay. that, kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, wow. Do you know what? I always love finding new stuff I haven't seen before. It's fascinating, though. All also. right, I, I've teased you enough. <laughs> let's uh, we've we've eaten our vegetables. Let's go and. Uh, so have let's pudding. Go and have pudding. <laughs> I have to say, I love the fact that you spotted the Baker Street and Waterloo Railway lining rings here yeah i would never have spotted this well i mean it's a bit like do you remember when we went to shepherd's bush and city spotted the there was a charing cross eastern hampstead railway yeah lining ring in yeah. the central line station yeah and you just you've got to keep your eyes open on these it's things fascinating 
tremendous discoveries to be had. Have you got your key for this? I do. Fab. Okay. This is this is hugely exciting because if you see through the grate, as I said, this is right at the bottom of the emergency stairs. If you ever take the emergency stairs, there's a grate, and through there is the continuation of tiles. So this would have presumably been the entrance to the lifts. Yeah. Okay, wow. so we've genuinely not been in here before. No, no, no. We're just going to do a little bit of housekeeping because we're going to try our best to capture this for you as we go. So there'll be a little bit of camera ballet. We've got the ultra high power torch in case the lights aren't up to the job. Okay. Right. So we shall do our usual trick of going part wide down, oh my word. <laughs> wow. I mean, <laughs> there's almost too much to go at, isn't there? I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll pop this there. And I'll go and fetch this one. This is a job, yeah? This is actually uh, a job. I, I believe so. Right. You're actually going to get paid for this. Right. Do you know, we don't get to do this very often. This is reminiscent of exploring Angel with you. Oh, this is so cool. Let's start dealing with the original features, shall we? Is it, uh, it is November, yes. So, as Alex says, we've got this lovely original tiling. That, that might be a bit hot, it's actually. A bit, it's a bit warm. That, just on the tiles, yeah. Okay, I can turn it down a bit. And then, look, we've got these lovely bits of cornice and uh, cartouche. Cornice and cartouche. Cornice That's that drag like name. End of the pier, isn't it? Yeah, drag names. <laughs> and then, what well, can only be described as a massive lift shaft and a fan, which That's big, our, isn't it? Look our at good that. friend Rory upstairs has turned off for us as the sign suggests. Should say a big thank you to Rory and Hugh who were on station, the team on station today. You were so kind and just gave us a little bit of a, almost a bit of a tease as to what there could be down here. Although I must admit, I think maybe they become a little blasé about the detail because <laughs> they say, well, there's a few bits down there you might be interested in. But that is, so this here was the original lift shaft. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you can see, it is now Northern Line Ventilation Point 85. Yeah. Um, that, that would have been the, uh, the sump for the lift down there. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Well, there's a walkway to a place I want to go to. Now, Do you want me to try and flick some, some lights Alex, on? It's always worth a little look in these spaces uh, for maker's tiles. Yeah. Because that's often where you find Often in the them. lift entrances, isn't it? In the it? lift entrances. Bear with me. There's some light switches here, Nixie. Oh, well done. Whoa. So. We've got some lights uh, now. Yeah, we've got some lights and it's, it's helped us spot this. Now, this is another little feature. If I could just pass this yeah, to sure. you. Yeah, uh, sure. That's all right. Got it? Yeah. Grand. Now, you see you've got the sort of chocolate and cream color with a pinstripe. Chocolate and cream, Great Western Railway? It's kind of, isn't it? It's, it's actually not quite Great Western, I think, but it's more the fact you've got that cream and brown with the pinstripe. Now, we've seen this before in a number of places. Uh, we see it at Down Street, and we saw it, we saw a version of it. I think it was cream and green at St. Paul's, if you remember, when yep. we did that exploration. But it's got pinstripe, and that is not a station painting scheme. That's usually where something has been adapted and it's often, it's kind of a wartime aesthetic. So I suspect this area, because of course 1931 is when the refurb happens, so these lift passageways are redundant, so you've got prime shelter area on this station. So I think that's what this is about. It looks like a wartime painting uh, to me and a conversion. So we should just be on our lookout for anything else which suggests uh, wartime conversion. We have in our collection, I know we've got a shelterer's ticket from Archway. Wow, so we know it's been used for oh, that. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. And I'm just looking along the, the, the sort of entrances and exits here. You've got literally one, two, three. Is that a fourth at the end or is that just one, yeah. two, three? Yeah, I think it's it's got the two lift shafts. And then something in there. Yeah, that you, looks like battery, little tool? Battery, battery room to me. Uh, in fact, it says uh, batteries on the door. Crikey. So whether it still is or not, I don't know, but uh, it's a control room. So. I'm loving all these tiles. Yeah, I, do you know, that 
that to me is kind of a picture of what Hidden London's all about. It is, isn't it's it? It's the layers. Just look at it. That's happening as a photo. It might even be an Instagram moment, that one. <laughs> We're such tourists these days. It's great. And look utterly at this. shameless about it. Where would this it. go then, Nick? I'm, I'm still looking around for well, your, um, to your me, maker's tiles. For the... uh, you know, as ever, you get a bit of cave art and somebody has helpfully put way out. So I think this is now possibly an emergency escape. How funny. Look at this. And yeah. Isn't Which it weird, is great. Though? And this because, is the... do you know why this is great to me? Why? Because whenever you go into interesting spaces like this, so I've got a nice photo of your backside. That's going all right. Up the, Enjoy. Uh, stairs. Whenever we come into these spaces, we get very excited and go, "Oh, wouldn't it be great to be able to share it as a hidden London tour?" But often there's something that gets in the way of it, and the first thing that gets in the way of it is whether there's an emergency escape. So, hmm. Mind you, that's a, <laughs> unfortunately that's an equipment room, so that's not actually a but interesting way out. There's a dripping of water here as well, which is kind of re reminiscent <laughs> of York Road. Yeah. Do you remember when we went to York Road? It's not was quite just, as bad as that. No, yeah. I mean, that was like, it was like going to um, Niagara Falls, but yeah, um, it's it bizarre. So this is the second lift shaft. Yep, so now it's two equipment rooms, basically. Yep, and, and effectively in those lift shafts, you used to get two lifts each, didn't you? Is that right? Yeah, that's right, two yeah. big lifts. And they would typically be for, it depends on the make of the lift, but between 43 and 50 people. Uh, so, yeah. Now, if we look across over past you there, we can see there's the other way to the lift. So that's the other side of the lift and a passageway over there. I think we should grab the camera. Should we? Bring it with us. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> that looks really cool through there. Thank you for the camera, Nixie. So here we go, look at this. So we are in the lift shaft. I'm in the lift shaft at the minute. Yeah, and we're coming out the yeah. other side. So this would be either the entrance or the exit, depending on the configuration. And look, already there's loads more tiles here. Yeah, I, oh, I was so convinced we are going to find a maker's. <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> cool if we did. They're normally on one side or the other. Look, there's more. There's just loads of tiles. How could, how could anyone say there's nothing here? It's brilliant, isn't it? I, do you know, it's, I think it's because it's a relatively early abandonment and it, it got reused for shelter perhaps that it's survived so Look well. at this as well. You can actually see the lining rings. Oh, Look at that. It's at all bare. Thick, aren't they? That's bare. Let me just step down. Don't fall over. <laughs> What's that say up there? T LT, is it LT 15 foot Stan Ho, Stan okay. Tone, yep. 1972. Oh, is that right, 72? Yeah, it does. So, this, this is a much, much bigger, so this is a 15 foot diameter tunnel. Good heavens. So is this running tunnel size? Uh, no, it's actually bigger. It's even bigger than bigger. tube running tunnel. Um, so for, even for, uh, for main line, you'd perhaps have a 16 or a 16 foot six. Um, this, this is a purpose built ventilation tunnel that's been added. <laughs> This is bonkers. There you go, Nixie. I've just Grand. given you the best shot I can <laughs> okay. of this. Now look. Crikey. Well, I, okay. Let, <laughs> let's just finish off the lift shaft bits first. Can I just do an Indiana Jones? This is just great. I'm expecting a big ball to come rolling at me. <laughs> a bit like Oxford Street at Christmas. Yes, yes, when the ball balls run away. This is, see, look, this is all original. Yeah. So, again, I'm just going to go on the quest in case there are any... Uh, no, the maker's tiles have eluded us. What we'll just draw attention to, though, is this bit. So when you've got this kind of round brick area, we've seen that before again in places where there's ventilation built in. So that's now part of the ventilation uh, extraction. Yeah? Yeah. And this would have been original tunnel, walkway. Yeah, that's right. So behind there yeah. will probably be tiled. Yeah, I'd have thought so. Yeah. So. You see that big tunnel over there, Alex? Yeah. I, mean, I think it's time to go up it now, isn't it? It's... This oh. is incredible. Well, I'm glad I brought the big torch. Something just told do me this to, morning that the I torch for to, you? Would you mind just... If you take the sticks? the sticks. Do I take these with me or...? Yeah, because we might need yeah. them up there. So let's, let's give this the beans. Whoa! Look at right, that. stop. <laughs> I need to take a photograph. We're all going to have to insta Oh one, my goodness, look at that. Oh, heavens. Now, I can only hold that torch where I've got it for so long before it gets a bit too hot. I like the fact there's a dustbin in the foreground as well. Wait, before, oh, before we go any further, that's my bump catch just down there, by the way. 
Let me just remind you, dear viewer, this is Archway. We didn't even know any of this existed, did we? Really? No, this, was no. all, this is all new. We sure haven't been discovery. here before. Ordinarily with television, I'm sure you probably have guessed, most people do a bit of a recce and they look around to see what they want to film. We decided today we would do a proper exploration just because it's Chris and me and we like a bit of a laugh sometimes. But what we are seeing is for the first time this enormous tunnel that was built effectively in the 70s for ventilation purposes. Ma amazing. Let's. Uh... Let's head now, on. do I need a bump cap? Um, take it with me. Bring it with you. You yeah. never know what you're going to find at the other end. I mean, we've got a good idea from looking up below what we might find, but this is, it's such a big tunnel. Yeah. And it's, it's actually not that grimy for once, considering it's a vent tunnel. But I, isn't it interesting as well? Because, you know, we're going up. Um, if you imagine where we were on the platform going north, we saw those grills and we're walking up steps now, it just goes to show the difference between the original station and the new, isn't it? It does. I'm sorry, I just That's all right. No, it's all, it's all fine. It's fine. Um, so, so, Alex, I just, I'm just doing this for scale. Uh, so hello. So we can get the idea of what we've just come up. That, that's tremendous, isn't it? And as ever, you've got these great bits of formwork up here. Look, you see, we've seen these before at places like Charing Cross where you've got these individually made and numbered lining rooms. But look at that there, above your head. Yeah. It's even more that. intricate. Oh, it's getting dusty now. Oof. Wow, that train's pushing in some, whoa, wow. City would be struggling with contact lenses in here, I think. Look at this cool. here, this is like a blockage. Right, now, this is very like Euston, isn't it? Oh the my goodness, Houston. I bet that is the grill. Yeah, it? it is. That down there. That so is. So, All right, we were let me take the camera and you, you get in to explain to us what's going on. Right, <laughs> okay? Okay, here we go. Right. Right then. So, I am now stood over the northbound track and sounds like there's a train coming in. Yep, there it is. Just arrived. In fact, I'll just do you a little, uh, little picky woo of that. I'll uh, leave that running. So, this is taking all of the hot air that the train will create when it's braking and allows it to be extracted with that big fan to help keep the station more comfortable in temperature downstairs. And there goes the train. But it also makes for a fantastic view down onto the platform. It's really just so huge. I'm gonna to go to the end just because I can. Now the train's gone, I can put the light on as well. Wow. Well, Alex, I think you're going to want to come and have a look at this. I do. And you know, I also want a photograph of me standing <laughs> in the centre of it. It makes really, oh my God. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, long way it's a bit of a moment, isn't it? Oh, blimey. Um, <laughs> cool. If I give you that just for a yeah. minute. Um, right. Uh, regular viewers will know I'm not a big fan of heights and we are quite a long way above the Northern Arctic Heavens. Are you all right with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good because you're here. It's fine. But so that right underneath that, literally, that is going to be train. Yep. So as soon as the next one comes in, you'll get the show. Oh my goodness, look at that. So if I stand there, I love, a, I love my Doc Martin boot. <laughs> like that's going to make a great little video. That's perfect, like that. Here it is. Amazing. Well, what a great day exploring surprises. I love that. Do you know, this job is always a privilege, but it feels like it's been it's an extra special it's one today. Work today. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, that was Archway. So opened in 1907, umpteen name changes, lifts were out, escalators were in. Yeah, modified in 31. Wartime uses. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. Addition. 
and the rest of it. It's all still here, isn't it? Well, if yeah, you enjoyed that, do follow us on Instagram. Uh, all of the addresses appearing now. Absolutely. And so we've got the usual deals, haven't we? Alex Grunton, Chris Nick, City Holloway, Hidden London Law, and at LT Museum. You can find us, obviously, you found us on YouTube, so thank you. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Well done to the girls on getting the award for us all, the Hidden London team. I think you're absolutely delighted. Indeed, yeah, and fabulous. And if you want to see a bit more down here, join us on Patreon. Again, that's just coming up on the screen now. Fantastic. Have yourself a great day and stay, stay safe. safe. Woo, 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 woo.